What's up everyone, it's Leanne V and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, thank you for clicking the video to watch and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos. So today I am doing something a little different than my other videos. I wanted to do a get ready with me and talk a little bit about me and just life and 2020, all the goals that I have set and just, you know, just chit chat and talk to you guys. So let's get started. First things first, I am going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control. So I have combination skin and I'm really oily in the T-zone area. So I'm going to put some of this right here and blend it in properly so that I don't become a little grease ball. I get so oily and I hate it, but it is what it is. They say it's actually really good when your skin's oily, so... I'm going to be using NARS and Smashbox for my foundations. I like mixing my foundations just because I want to blend the perfect color for my skin tone. So I'm going to put a little bit of this here, a little bit there. You guys, I love Smashbox. Their foundation is amazing too. It has really good coverage. If you guys haven't tried it, this is Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And this is 2.4 skin tone light medium and then this one what is this i don't even know how to say this but is that even the color <laughs> vanuatu v-a-n-u-a-t-u that so i'm using that color now i'm going to blend it in i like using a brush to blend my foundations so i have a few meetings today so that's why i'm going to do a little more of a glam look than a natural look so usually if i have meetings all day and into the evening I'll just get ready and do a glam that looks great from day to night, which is my go-to smoky look. It's like a smoky brown look, and I love that look just because it, you can wear it during the day and it's not too much, and then nighttime, it still looks really glam. I'm going to take a beauty blender and just dab all over. I always put my foundation first before my eye makeup. I don't know why. I just like doing it first. I know that usually makeup artists do the eyes first because if there's any like fallout from like the shadows, it goes to your skin and it's hard to blend and clean up after because you've already done your whole entire face. But I just like, I don't know, I just like doing my foundation first for some reason. Okay, now that's done. I am going to do my concealer. So today I am going to use two different kinds. I love my Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Beauty. And this color is medium sand. Born This Way by Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. You can contour, highlight, retouch with it. I love this stuff. So I'm going to go in first with Too Faced. Do, 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 do. Boom. All right. And I'm going to blend. So a little bit about me and where I'm from. I am from Modesto, California, Northern California. A lot of people don't know where Modesto is because it's such a small city. I wanted to move to LA for my career and that's exactly what I wanted to do and did it. Which I'm so happy when I look back, I'm like, man, this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to move to LA and just pursue my dreams and I had to leave all of that behind. It was really hard because, you know, you're moving into a really big city. You're moving away from your family, from your friends, from just being familiar with everything, and it's a big step. I give props to anyone that moves out of their city, their small city, or just move, period, to do something that you want to do in life. Like, LA is definitely scary because, you know, you don't know what to expect. A lot of people, a lot of freeways, a lot of traffic, but for the most part, I love living in LA. Okay, so now that's blended and I'm going to apply the Tarte Shape Tape now. A little bit here. I do both because it has more coverage and it brightens my under eyes a little bit more. So that's done and I'm going to go back with the Beauty Blender and blend away. So when I moved to LA, I did not really know what to do. One thing about me, I did not go to college. I just knew that I wanted to move to LA and give this a chance. All my goals and dreams that I had, my parents were super supportive for me to move to LA and pursue my career. And what I did first, I took acting classes, vocal coaching, dance classes, really just exercising my talents that I wanted to work on and also networking. I felt like when I went to these things, I met a lot of people. That's one of the biggest things you have to do in LA is build relationships because you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what opportunities will present themselves. So 
when I moved to LA, I definitely put myself out there to meet a lot of different people. I didn't have a set game plan. All I knew is that I wanted to move to LA and just really work and figure it out. And that's the beauty of life. You know, I think that when you move somewhere or you take yourself out of your comfort zone and you do something that you've never done and just really figure it out. I think there's beauty in the unknown and just having faith. And I'm a Christian. I grew up in a Christian family and my parents like really, really believed in me. And honestly, I'm the reason why I'm here is really because of them. And I look back like, wow, I never in a million years thought I'd be doing this. It's so insane. And that just goes to say, you never know what God has planned for you. You have to be open and aligned to God and stay in prayer, stay focused. And all of that, I just believe that it will lead you to your purpose. Okay, so I'm going to set my foundation with Laura Mercier setting powder. This is translucent powder. And when you set your makeup, your beauty blender does not need to be moist. It could be dry. So I'm setting my concealer just like that. Boom. Let's bake. Now I'm going to take a brush, take some more translucent powder, and just blend all around so that all of this is set. So I'm going to let this bake for a little while and move forward. Now I'm going to use the Mirage palette by Profusion. I love this palette because it has beautiful shades, warm tones, and that's the kind of look I'm going for today. I'm going to use these two colors first. I'm going to blend over my entire eyelid. I'm actually not using eyeshadow primer today. I don't always use it, but sometimes I do. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into this color. I like this little warm brown tone. And I'm going to blend across my crease lightly. One thing I've learned about makeup is you have to know how to blend. You want to make sure that you are lightly blending over your eyelid and not pressing too much pressure to rub the eyeshadow off. You just want to nicely blend over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> and I'm still learning. I feel like I have a lot to learn still. I've been doing makeup videos for about two years now and I've really grown like looking back at my old pictures and videos. I'm like, ooh, I am so glad that there is growth and progress. That's all that matters. When I first started doing makeup videos, I was a little nervous just because I, I'm not a makeup artist and I just love doing makeup. So I just decided, you know, why not do something that I love and share it with the audience and see what they think. Everyone is like, oh, well, you do comedy skits. Why are you doing makeup? This is my thing that I completely hate. I hate when people try to box you in and just say, well, no, you do comedy skits. No, now you're trying to do this. And at the end of the day, you can do what you want because do what makes you happy. Who cares what people think? People will always have their opinions and you cannot please everyone. You can only do what you can and at the end of the day, you have to be at peace with yourself. Like, you know what? They aren't happy, but it's fine because your happiness is the most important part. All of this is blended and now I'm going to go back in with this darker brown. Dab, dab, dab. I'm going to lightly blend and follow my crease a little bit. Not too far to the front. Same on the other side. Now that I've applied the darker color, I'm going to go back in with that brown that I used earlier. So as I'm blending, I'm going to share with you some of my struggles in LA that I had to face and learn from. So maybe you guys can learn from them too if you ever plan to move to LA. One of my biggest challenges in LA was finding the right team. You want to make sure that you are surrounded by people that believe in you, that believe in your vision, that support you. Having the right people on your team can really determine your success because you don't want to bring anyone on board that doesn't really support or believe in your vision and totally try to pull you away from who you are because that can block a lot of the opportunities that you want to do and you just want to make sure that you have the right people on your side. And let me tell you guys, I've had quite a few different managers. People talk such a big game here in LA and it's hard to believe people because a lot of people are all just talk. And I can't tell you how many times people have said things and made promises to me and let me down and disappointed. But you know what? That's a part of life. I think that going through LA, there is a lot of disappointments and you just figure it out. Like I said, when you move to LA, you figure it out. 
you go through some things. And for me, I feel like I just found my team. I found the perfect team that supports my vision, that understands me, that wants to elevate me to the next level. And I think that's really important. Okay, so this is nicely blended. I love the color. Now I'm going to take this brush and blend out all of the other excess setting powder. Blend, 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 once again. Now I'm going to go back in. Oops, where's my brush? Where are you at, brush? All these brushes, I gotta find the right one. Hello, where'd it go? I hate when I lose like that one brush. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to use this brush. It's smaller and a little bit more firm. I'm going to dab into the dark brown and the light brown. Going to go under my eyes. I love putting eyeshadow under my eyes. It just makes my eyes pop more. Look at the difference. I look like I got punched in the eye. <laughs> I am going to be using Lara Mercier Bronze 4 to do some contouring. I'm going to take this brush and blend my cheeks. I'm contouring the side of my faces. Faces, like I got two faces. <laughs> I'm going to contour my cheeks and then on my forehead. The top of my forehead. I love how contour has become such a popular thing and I love it. I love it, love it. Now I'm going to contour my nose. I love how contour is such a big thing now. I never used to contour growing up and now that I've started, I cannot stop. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to blend on one side of my nose and then do the other side. So that's blended and I'm going to go back in with this brush. It's a flat brush. I'm going to do a little line right over my nose. Now I'm going to blend all of this with my MAC Studio Fix. I used two different colors. You know what? I forgot what this color is. I'm sad. I wish that they have labels that do not peel off or do not rub off. So I'm going to have to go to MAC and figure out what this color is. But I love this color. So this one is C4 Studio Fix Powder Plus. I'm going to use these colors together, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and blend away. So now I'm blending all of this together so that there are no harsh lines. One of my goals this year for 2020 is to buy myself my own house. And I have been house hunting and looking at beautiful homes, and I just can't wait to move into a house that's mine. Right now I'm renting, but I really want to buy a house. Just because when you when it's your house, you could do whatever you want to it. Like I wanted to do so much stuff to this house and my mom's like, no, this isn't your house. Why are you going to paint and do all of this and that and you're gonna move anyways? So my goal this year is to buy my own house. I actually bought my parents their first house in LA, which was a dream come true. My parents have definitely supported me my entire career and now I wanna give them the life that they truly deserve and enjoy because I just feel like that's my goal. My goal is to make my parents happy and make them proud and I want them to live a happy and comfortable life. They're so involved in my career and I love it. I would not have it any other way. My dad, like we do dance videos, we did a lot of Vine videos and then my mom actually shot all of my dance videos with my dad and they're on social media. So if you are not following them, make sure you check them out. The real Mama V, the real Papa V. It's so cute because when we go out in public and people ask for pictures with my parents, they are so happy to always take pictures with anybody. And my dad will also ask for a picture too so they can post it on their Facebook and Instagram. I'm just so happy that they're a part of my life and my career. Now I'm going to apply some highlight. This is Becca Champagne Pop. So I'm going to dab a little here. Put some highlight right here on my cheekbones. Highlight makes such a big difference. Like. Oh, it's so pretty. Put a little bit on my chin. Definition on my nose. Now for the brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow. And this is the Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. So I've gotten my brows done before by Brow Daddy. He's amazing. If you don't know about him, make sure you look him up. He has shaded my brows in and did the ombre brow on my brows. I actually need a touch up. It's faded. I love the ombre brow look. So how I do my brows... I do the bottom part first using the dip brow and fill it in at the end and then do the top. So after I apply the dip brow, I like brushing through my brows. Now I'm going to fill it in with the brow powder. I use a lighter color in the front and the darker color towards the end of my brow. So filling in the front and now the back. It's so crazy how brows go through different trends. 
I remember when skinny brows were in. That's when I went tweezer happy. Like I had the skinniest brows ever and it was like the cutest thing. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Now that my brows are done, I'm going to do my eyeliner. This is Man Eater from Tarte. And voila, eyeliner done. And next, lashes. So I am using these lashes from Lily Lashes. This is Miami. Lashes are definitely my favorite. I'm using the Duo Strip Lash Glue. Do, 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 do. Now I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. Another thing that I'm looking forward to doing more this year is music. So a lot of you may know and a lot of you may not know, but I moved to LA for music and I have a passion for music. And I actually just did a music video called Hustlin' and I launched a collection, a New Year's Eve collection with Windsor and I attached the music with that collection which was amazing because we did a whole music video wearing all of the pieces. So if you haven't seen the music video, make sure you check it out. It's called Hustlin'. Okay, I'm going to apply this now. Boom. Make sure it is secured. There she goes. Can you guys hear it? My mom is vacuuming. I love my mom. She loves, loves to clean, and that's fine with me. Now I'm going to use Grande Drama Mascara. I'm going to go underneath to make sure my lashes are nicely blended to my falsies. Now for the lips, I'm going to be using Carly Bible El Maquillage, and this is Luna. I love this lip liner, it's so good. I actually just did a YouTube video on how to fake big lips. So if you guys wanna check it out, I posted it like last week. Okay, so now the lip liner is done and I'm going to go in using this MAC lipstick. This is Shrimpton. I love this color. It has like a brown warm tone. It's like the perfect nude tone. Next, House of Laboratories lip gloss. This is my favorite gloss. This is Entranced, I believe. Yes, Entranced. So we're gonna use this nice clear gloss over the lips. And I'm done. Oops. Almost forgot, a very important step. This is Ben I Final Seal, and it smells like mint. It's so good, and it works amazing. All right, you guys, so this was so much fun. I enjoyed talking to you while I was doing my makeup, and let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like these. Comment below, and other ideas that you have, also comment them below. I wanna give you guys the content that you guys want. And I'm leaving you with this, a little piece of advice for anyone that wants to come to LA and pursue their dreams. Make sure that you are focused, that you are determined, that you are consistent, and you are disciplined. Because I'm telling you, if you do those things, nothing in the world can stop you. Consistency, discipline, staying focused, staying true to yourself, surrounding yourself with the right people, building the right team, and just being kind to everyone. You have to treat everyone with respect, with love at the end of the day. Be kind, love more, and of course, love yourself. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Peace. All right, you guys, so this is the Dang. Scrimpton. It's right, Scrimpton. Shrimpton. Blend, 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 blend. I look like I got punched in the eye. My hair is not participating today. Hello. Where'd it go? I hate when I lose like that one brush. Oh, here it is. Mm, I love coffee. Dab, dab, dab. You got to blend the makeup properly. If you guys are wondering, my favorite drink at Starbucks is white chocolate mocha with almond milk. Mm. There she goes. Can you guys hear it? My mom is vacuuming.